We're here to talk about how to stop the oil spill immediately. Uh, after the platform goes down a mile into the ocean, it hits the floor of the ocean and then it drills into the ground three to four miles deep. Now the hole is um, about 20 inches in diameter. So three miles deep, a hole that's 20 inches in diameter is the equivalent as if you had your kitchen table that is three feet high and you would have that oil line that would be a tenth of the thickness of a human hair. So imagine you have your kitchen table and you've got a leak because you've got a gusher and I go oh well yeah gee we gotta stop that leak uh, what is the uh, diameter of the hole that's leaking you know is it one inch and you say no no it's it's actually uh, uh, one ten thousandths of an inch thinner ten times thinner than a human hair you'd be like give me a give me a little knife and I'll just like you know uh, close the hole uh, give me a shovel and I'll close the hole this is almost the equivalent of the human body if the arteries were not uh, one or two uh, sixteenths of an inch thick uh, in the human heart but one hundredth of that it's almost like if you told cardiologists all right now your job is to is to keep uh, these arteries from getting plugged up and they are actually going to be actually um, 100 times thinner than the human heart arteries and the cardiologists would say yeah, we're having trouble now keeping those arteries open uh, but if you're gonna make them 100 times thinner forget about it uh, nothing that small can stay open so that's what we got here we've got a table with a gusher and the hole is one tenth of a diameter of a human hair so, because you see, it's a hole that's three miles deep into the ground, and it's only 20 inches in diameter. It's trivial to stop it. All you have to do is get a huge shovel uh, and just wedge it closed. Torpedo the edges of it. Closed. Just dump enough, enough dirt on it to close it. Uh, there are many ways to stop a hole that small that has to travel so long. The reason they're not closing it is that they want to keep access to that find and they are ignoring the uh, environmental uh, problems that this uh, gusher is causing. I think for political reasons the uh, left wants it to gush because it gives them all the power to uh, uh, close all the other wells in the area. And from uh, BP's perspective, they don't want to delay even uh, the profits that are going to come out of that thing. Uh, I can't think of an engineering reason why this cannot be closed in one day. You can torpedo it closed, you can shove it closed, you can wedge it closed, you can tampon it, you can it's the smallest hole that has to travel three miles. It's amazing it stays open. So from an engineering point of view, you can stop it right away. Uh, notice all the attempts they're doing are to preserve the, uh, the oil find. That's BP's perspective. And from the government's perspective, <clears throat> they want environmentalists to stay active because it's a political move. It gives more power to the current administration and we end up with a gusher that's polluting our uh, beaches, which could have been closed in one day. That's my engineering opinion.